Hey, hey, let's fight right now. Let's fight right now. Get out of the car. Fuck the camera. I beat your ass right now. Yeah, I beat your ass. You know it, nigga. Fuck Hold on, man. Your butt is scary, man. See your butt car. Watch how scary he is. Now he's speeding out right there in that car down the white, y'all. He's speeding. All that scary shit, bro. Come on with it, bro. Get your ass out the car, bro. Now you want to play. Get your ass out the car, bro. Come on with it. It's DJ Academics, and God damn it, man, it's like we're live on the scene because this shit's going on in real time. Now, if you guys don't know, the negotiator is getting this um, audio and video directly from the source. Niggas are sending this shit to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So check it out. Apparently, after Rich Homie Kwan, he just put up a video on Instagram or one of his compadres, right? He, they put up a video on Instagram of Rich Homie Kwan literally pulling up on Johnny Cinco in traffic. Now, basically told him if he want to go catch that fade because, listen, he called him lacking. Now, Johnny Cinco, after seeing what it was and be like, I'm outnumbered, right? You basically have a camera. Who knows what else you got? He did the wise thing. It's either, it's either fight or flight. And he did the right thing. He flight. Now, he sped off in his nice little Nissan. And basically, Rich Homie Kwan put the video up to Instagram. Now, here's the thing. Because everybody is so concerned with their e-clout, their e-rep. Because that's what it is right now. You post something up on Instagram, clouding somebody else. It's all about that online ego, that online reputation, that online image. So you got people, they're talking shit to each other. while, And you got to think about how ridiculous it sounds. They're talking shit to each other in real life. They're holding up a goddamn camera phone trying to record them and the person they're trying to talk shit to. They got to hold it landscape mode. They got to make sure they're getting a perfect shot. They got to make sure it's zoomed in enough. Make sure it's not blurry. Because they got to post it to Instagram. Think about how fucking ridiculous that is. They're really on some of the game versus 40 Glock shit. Now I hope these niggas really stop with that bullshit. Because if I'm rich homie Quan in this video you just saw. You know what I'm doing? My nigga I'm Suge Knight you. Yes homie I'm running over you with my Tonka truck. My little monster truck I'm running over you. Then I'm reversing over your body. Then I'm running you over again. Then after that, then I'm going to hop out the car, I'm going to fucking sprinkle some crack by your nostrils and plant a gun on you. That's it. And then I'm going to call the police. And then I'm going to blame it on you. And then after that, you, nigga, that's just it. You, you, you're dead. That's it. It's over. But listen, man, niggas be acting really like they got nothing to live for. I mean, what the fuck? Well, don't Rich Homie Kwan got some shows? Don't he got a, a fucking studio session with um, Young Thugger Motherfucker? Don't Johnny Cinco got something to do with Amigos? Because listen, man, humor me, for real, humor me. How about you niggas who, you both basically posted up videos of you guys trying to fight each other and the other not being with it. How about you niggas actually fight, right? Where's the celebrity boxing promoter? I think his name is like Danny Feldman or something like that. How about he gets both you guys in the ring? Because you niggas always got the chopper for the gram. You always got snippets of you talking shit. You got the snippets of you running down on, on the fucking ops. You catching somebody lacking. But every time we hear of an orchestrated fight set up between the two people who are beefing and their rappers, it never comes to fruition. The one-on-one -on -one fair one for money in a ring never happens. See what happened with Gilly and Soldier Boy? Never happens. But these guys are told like they're the fucking biggest goons of all time. Because you know what it is, man? People are really only angling and flexing for the e-reputation. That's about it. Cut the beefing out. Make music. You guys are supposed to be both getting money. What the fuck is this for? You're telling me you're running up on each other's car, taking videos for Instagram to impress a bunch of people you don't know? A bunch of fans that you guys hope to have? That could probably come to your show because they now think you're a real nigga? And it's all fun and games until somebody actually does a Suge Knight. If somebody does a Suge Knight, you'd be like, yo, yo, it's fucked up. Why do you do that? No, nigga, why did you provoke him to do it? Leave each other the fuck alone, man. Get in the comment box. Your boy, DJ Academics. I'm out.